Okay, my name is Lady and I will be presenting to you Jenny Seville. Um, this is one of her paintings right here. Uh, so that's just a little bit of what you're going to be looking forward to. Jenny Seville is a contemporary artist um, that just means the art of today. Most art produced today it will be contemporary art. Um, it's the modern, modern art, I guess. Um, what she loved was imperfections. So everything about skin, the lumpy, the bumpy, everything about that, that's what she wanted to portray. And that's what she does. She spent time with a plastic surgeon. Um, and by watching that surgeon, she learned more about the flesh and about the body. And that helped her a lot. Um, she mostly loved portraying obese women and like the taboos of bodies. Um, so anything that would be perceived as inappropriate, that's what she loved to do. Um, so with that in mind, here are some of her, well, here is Muse on Stool. I selected this one because of the gestural style. Most of these drawings will all be, um, it will be like under drawings. So like she painted on top of these. I love this one because of the layering you can see her process you can see the different bodies that are layered on top of each other how she is planning um in her finished paintings she usually leaves like the under of like the understudy i guess the the first drawings you can see that coming through and i really love that with this drawing though i love how she has the gestural aspect but also incorporates value and it looks like a finished drawing um, even though it looks so unfinished. The proportions are amazing for such a hectic drawing. I'm really drawn to the legs and because of the knees and the amount of shape that she was able to capture within that. Um, and the thickness of the lines, the differing um, line uh, weight, the differing line weight is moving to me and my eyes can glide perfectly across the paper and it's very compelling to me it looks very it looks posed but relaxed and it looks right in a sense if, if that makes sense the next one is time and this one is my favorite so having all of those arms just overlapping each other is so amazing to me the proportions and everything it looks so perfect but like it's still gestural in a sense of imperfect it's not completed um that's what's more amazing to me the face is super detailed so is the lower genitalia um some of the hands are as well are super super detailed but for the most part the rest of it is simply line work but she still incorporated value into it. So the mix of value and line work is almost like a perfect balance of imperfect, of imperfections. Um, and how the implications of a bathtub, even though it's not all the way drawn out, you can feel such sorrow and emotion coming from the face, even though it's not like a super detailed work. Um, it's you only get emotion from the posing and from the ways that she added super definition on one parts and no definition on other parts. The posing of the hands is really compelling to me. Um, they just look like they have given up. There's no the hands aren't trying to pose in a certain way. They're dead. Um, like if you laid your hand on a table, that gives the same feeling as what the poses of these hands are. They're not staged. They're simply natural. And the, the posing of the body is very natural as well. Um, it just looks very... Um, it looks as if she has laid down and she will continue to lay down here forever, contemplating whatever she is contemplating for the rest of all eternity. Now then, moving on to out of one, two. Um, lots of color, very hectic. It's made from charcoal and oil pastels. This is... I don't remember if this is finished or not. 
Uh, regardless, it could might as it might as well be finished. It's fantastic. Again, with the gestural quality, I'm gonna say that in every one of these, just the gestures that really compels me and how you can see the unfinished with the finished with the unfinished and like it's layering it's layering to me um it's it's just very emotional and very powerful the what's most interesting to me is that some body parts this is a conglomeration of just masses of bodies um there's a in the middle there is uh, a belly button that is super defined you can see below that there's a hand that is extremely defined but if you look up there's a breast that is not defined at all you can see a leg you can see the shoulder of someone it's all just things that could be and maybe but for now or not um, what's also interesting is the choice of leaving the table just as a table it's a simple block there's no um perspective i guess there's you can't see the top of it um you can't really necessarily see the bottom the sides of it um it's just a slab it's just a flat block which is an interesting choice to me i don't know why she did that but it still works so well in that unfinished finished value what really like what my eyes are drawn to is the red just scribbles all across the like the center part of the drawing and it conveys so much passion and even though it doesn't look really like anything it doesn't look like any certain shape but it still it just adds so much emotion and passion to the piece as well as the face there's one face that you can really see that is super defined is of a woman and she's just looking up and she's kind of got her hand over her neck and she just, it's not forlorn, it's not solemn, it's not super happy, it's just accepting. And that is a very strange face to try to capture. Um, it's very real. I see a lot of people who make this face, but it's so hard to describe, it's so hard to draw and then give that same emotional feeling, and yet she did so very well. Um, another thing on the other side, um, I guess the right hand side of the painting is there's a lot of feet over there and there's no definition to them. You can just see a little, couple of toes, the back of the foot, the, um, the long part, like the heel of the foot. Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of there. I don't know why I'm drawn to that, but it's something that's, I guess it's the attention to body parts and how many body parts and having every single one of those in a piece is in such a way is such a bold move and yet she did so confidently that it looks so subtle um if that makes sense all right reflective flesh study red this one is a playground for my eyes personally it is chaotic in the best of ways and there's just so much happening that isn't happening at the same time once again it's very gestural you can see where it looks like she got uh, a chamois and just wiped away some of the charcoal at the bottom. There's a lot of smears and smudges, like she took her hand and just wiped it off, or she took a cloth and just started wiping everything to create form and shape. But at the same time, there is no form, there is no shape, or there barely is any, if there were. But you can still see a body, and that's what's so amazing to me, is that it's so much nothing, but so much a something. Um, and it, I think that she captures that with the red. So with all of the reds everywhere, that's where the body is. The little loop-de-loop -loop and a scoop at the center, mm, the lower center, I guess, of the piece. Um, that is where the vagina is. Um, and then there's a part up from that and a little bit to the left. That is the definition of a breast and you can see the nipple and then on the other side of that to the right there is the other breast that is more defined um, and you can see in between the genitalia and the breast is a belly button and the way it looks like a like a kid draws a bird it's just an m like a flat m um, that's how she drew the belly button and that is so realistic to me 
um, well, it is realistic. That's a lot how a lot of overweight people's stomachs look. It's not, it's not like an oval or it's not like an egg shape. Like if somebody was pregnant, um, overweight people are very lumpy and bumpy. And the way that she was able to capture that so realistically is so amazing and admirable. And I love it so much. I also love the leg. So in between, well, you can kind of, you can kind of see it, um, left of the vagina under the breast, you can see the leg. And it's such a subtle, soft, quiet leg. And it's just really elegant and beautiful. This piece is super chaotic, but it's still elegant and beautiful. And just, it's such a gesture. It's such a gesture that it's just, I don't know, it's something amazing and it's breathtaking. And that would conclude my presentation. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.